basically the first time that I ever tried cocaine. I sort of knew it in the back of my mind that, that it wasn't good because it was the first time sort of in my life that I felt like all the problems that I had, they would go away. Brant Myers spent eight years in the NHL on six different teams. Now we have a scuffle going on at the blue line. Reed Lowe involved with Brant Myers for the Predators. And here right from the face off is Myers and Larac. And they're slugging it out toe to toe. Brant Myers, one of the heavyweights in the league. Drugs and alcohol plagued his entire career. The alcohol was always heavy, but it wasn't until I, I made it to the NHL where drugs were being offered. Myers failed his fifth and final drug test in 2006, earning a lifetime ban from playing in the NHL. Soon after, he hit rock bottom. All I remember is being handcuffed, and I was in the snow, and I had two cops on me, and uh, it turned out that I was, I was at my sister's place for a barbecue, and I lost time from 7 o'clock at night until I woke up at 2.30 in the morning. That, for me, was, was the start of a real shift in my thinking. I'm going to get sober, or I'm either going to end up, you know, killing myself, killing somebody, or going to jail. I spent eight months in treatment, and uh, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. I just had this feeling that, you know what, I think my experiences from what I've been through can hopefully help somebody else down the road. In 2015, off-ice incidents had an impact on the LA Kings. GM Dean Lombardi knew the team needed a new approach for their players. I think given we, what we experienced, certainly prompted me to do a lot of you know, investigating in terms of what in fact is going on out there and you know some of the temptations our players <clears throat> are now exposed to. I got an email from Dean. Basically, it was get down to L.A. and let's figure out a way that we can put something together for the best interest of the players. Based out of the Kings practice facility, Myers makes his home in a former equipment closet. Above the hum of the washing machines, he operates as the director of player assistance. 10% of our population is addicted to something. So if you, if you do that on a, a team with 24 guys on a roster, um, no matter what team it is, there's going to be one or two guys that are going to have issues. I think the other thing that we forget to realize, when you're dealing with young people at 20, 21 years old, and you're handing them 40, 50 million dollars, that is an enormous change of lifestyle. In addition to Myers, Lombardi enlisted the help of Chris Heron, a former NBA player and recovering addict, who uses his story to inspire others to seek help. Most teams, it's just a one-visit deal, um, where the Kings, Dean, uh, wanted multiple visits. Uh, he wanted me to try to develop relationships with players. It's great to give a speech, um, and you know, you can have an impact, but the reality is that's gonna wear off. This is no different than, you know, coming to the rink and training every day. Developing trust isn't easy. Heron and Myers understand it will take time for the players to open up. I know what it's like to be in a dressing room with 24 guys and have, um, basically, that's like your safe haven, you know, to have any outside influence come in. At times can be tricky. I think so much of what he has to do is gain the trust of the players before you can help them. You're not going to solve these problems overnight. 18 months into the program, the LA Kings recognize that the best players are those that control what's happening both on and off the ice. You know, a lot of people see an athlete sometimes as a sprinter. We're going to have him for a short period of time. To me, that's what's so admirable about this, is that they're not seeing just the sprinter. You know, they want to develop the player. You know, that's our responsibility, and I feel comfortable now that we are doing everything possible. But it's never going to end. It's always going to be temptation. 